My name is Karen Binder. Today I'm going to show you how to upload your DNA to GEDmatch from Ancestry DNA. GEDmatch is one of the most important investigative genetic genealogy databases because it has a large number of profiles that can help us to solve violent crimes, unidentified remains, and wrongful conviction cases. Even just one new match can make a difference in resolving a case. We hope you'll consider uploading your DNA data to GEDmatch to help us resolve more cases. The first thing that you'll need to do is obtain your DNA data from Ancestry. So you'll need to navigate to Ancestry.com. At the top, click on DNA and then your results summary. Here you'll land on your page for your DNA test results. If you're looking to download somebody else's results, like a family member who gave you permission, Click on View Another Test. Next, click on the Settings button in the top right corner. When you land on the Settings page, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Here, you'll find the option to download your DNA data. Right now is a good time to pause and think about your privacy. Remember that this is your private DNA data. It contains a wealth of information about you. Before downloading from Ancestry or uploading to another website, Take the time to read about your DNA data and the privacy policies and terms of service for any website that you're transferring your DNA data to. If you feel comfortable, click the box to acknowledge Ancestry's warning and hit continue. Next, you'll either need to send a code to your email or enter the current password to obtain your DNA data. A short time later, Ancestry will email you the link to download your DNA data. When you click the link, you'll be brought to the Ancestry website again to download the file containing your DNA data. The file will be saved as a zip file on your computer in the file location that you choose. Next, it's time to upload to GEDmatch. To do so, you'll need to sign in to GEDmatch.com. If you haven't created an account already, click on the Join for Free button and enter your details to create an account. Once you have an account, click on Sign In and enter your login ID and password. At the top of the screen, click the Upload DNA button. Here, you'll click Choose File, and then in your Downloads folder, you'll select the zip file containing your DNA data. Now it's time to enter information about the DNA tester. This might be you or someone who has given you permission to put their DNA test results in the GEDmatch database. In addition to their name, you may want to enter an alias so that the person's name is not visible to other users in the GEDmatch database. You'll also need to enter the person's sex and the source of the DNA test. Next, you'll need to answer a question about whose DNA this is. Is it your own or somebody who has given you specific permission to upload their DNA data to GEDmatch? There are some other options that are less common as well. Finally, it's time to select a privacy option. To help resolve cases of crime and unidentified remains, you'll need to click Opt In. If you click Opt Out, your DNA will be compared against unidentified remains cases, but not violent crime cases. The last step is to click the CAPTCHA to confirm that you're not a robot, and then click Upload. If your upload is successful, you'll get a confirmation page that shows your kit number. Now you may begin to use all of the amazing tools GEDmatch has to offer. We want to thank you for uploading to GEDmatch because your DNA truly makes a difference. Each day, there are hundreds of IgG practitioners using GEDmatch to resolve cases of violent crime and unidentified human remains. Your DNA may hold the answer for a waiting family.